six months ago, Sony announced its flagship smartphone, the Xperia Z2, and bang on time, we have the new Xperia Z3. Now, with such a small gap, Sony has proven if your phone is six months old, it is old. But how much of an improvement does the Z3 have over the Z2? Well, let's find out. Hey everyone, this is Kunal from Digital, and today I have the Xperia Z3 with me. Now, Sony didn't do so well with the Z2 six months back. But uh, this new smartphone, uh, although it's not a huge upgrade, but it is slightly different from the Z2. So uh, let's check this out on our review. Coming to the design, uh, the frame uh, which is between the two parts of the glass is uh, you know, now curved and feels much better than the Z2. We have the same 5.2 inch full HD display, which is much brighter. And uh, Sony claims that you know it's about 600 nits and it almost looks like an AMOLED display. The edges are now more curved, as I said, and more subtle. Uh, even the flaps covering the ports and slots, uh, you know, they blend very well with the whole edge and the body. The rest port placement is what we saw in the Xperia Z2. It's exactly the same. And the back is also exactly the same. We have the same uh, glass panel with the 20.7 megapixel camera, uh, an LED flash, some Sony branding, and of course, the NFC logo. And of course, uh, the smartphone is waterproof and dustproof. Coming to the software, uh, the Z3 runs on Android 4.4.4 KitKat, which is the latest version. And the build is slightly different, so the UI looks slightly uh, you know, refreshed from what we had seen on the Z2 and the Z1. There are a few new themes, widgets, and also a few new wallpapers to you know, uh, give a new look to it. The updated UI is definitely smoother and you know much more stable than the older device. So uh, of, of course you you know get all the patented Sony apps and there's also a PlayStation app which you know lets you uh, play PS4 games on your smartphone. So the Xperia Z3 runs on a 2.5 GHz Snapdragon 801 uh, processor. Now with that you have 3 GB of RAM and an Adreno 330 GB. So with such high-end uh, you know, hardware on the smartphone, uh, you know, playing games is like a piece of cake on it. Uh, apps do not crash at all. And you know, if you're you know, watching movies, full HD content, it's actually really sharp on the device. So yeah, on the hardware package, you know, the smartphone is excellent. So the ones who go for the benchmark, the Z3 is not a game changer, but it does manage to score uh, you know, pretty good and at par with all the flagship smartphones which are available in the market. The battery is now 100 mAh lower, so it is 3100 mAh. Uh, but now uh, you get a better battery backup than the Z2. You got almost one and a half day of you know normal usage out of it. The audio and the video experience on the smartphone is quite good and a delight. Of course, Sony is always good with the camera department. Now this again comes with a 20.7 megapixel sensor along with the G lens, which was seen first on the Xperia Z1. There aren't any huge improvements with the camera, but uh, Sony claims that you have an ISO boost of about 12,800, which is a lot on a smartphone. The app does see a lot of improvements in terms of fast focusing and quick startup and it feels much more responsive. There are a few more modes as well. Of course, uh, the camera does warn you uh, because it can heat up when you're recording extensive 4K videos. And uh, in case it heats up, do not put it in water. Well, actually you can, it is waterproof. Coming on to the camera again, the pictures in daylight are sharp and they offer a pretty decent depth. The colors are good and there is slight improvement in low light as well. So we get pretty good details even if you're shooting in under low light. Now the Xperia Z3 is not a huge upgrade from the Xperia Z2. There is a slight bump in design and a slight bump in uh, the hardware. But uh, you know, if you would like to go for a flagship smartphone, then you know this smartphone will suffice your needs if you want a good battery life, if you want a good performance package, and especially the camera, it's quite good. And on top of that, you get waterproof and dustproof certification. So this makes a very good deal for the Xperia Z3. Uh, if you're looking for other options, there is the you know HTC One E8 or the M8. Uh, you can also go for the iPhone 5S, which has now come down to 35,000. So uh, there are a lot of smartphones in the range, but uh, if you like a Sony device, I think the Z3 is one of the best options available.